Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to upload a video to YouTube using YouTube Data API in Python. Before we dive into the tutorial, I want to just go over some of the important information. To upload a video using YouTube Data API, I'll be using the videos resource and the insert method. And there are some restrictions you might need to know. The first restriction is the video file size can only be up to 128 gigabytes. And you can only use these two MIME types to upload a media file. And below are some of the uh, scopes that I can use. I'll be using the first scope, which is the YouTube.upload scope. And you can also use these other three scopes. For the uh, parameters, the first required parameter is the part parameter. And depending on what type of information that you want to provide, here are some of the types that you can provide. And these are some of the optional parameters. Do you want to notify your subscribers? Do you want to, so if you're not the uh, channel owner, and you can, and if you have the permission to upload a video, then you can set this parameter to indicating that you're allowing a third party or third user to upload video on your behalf. And there are a couple other uh, parameters. Yeah, so this one is on behalf of content owner channel. And this one is on behalf of content owner. I also need to provide request body. And these are all the information we can provide. So we can provide title, description, text, category ID, default language, and so on. And as I mentioned before, depending on the uh, information that you want to provide, you'll be using different types of uh, categories. If you want to specify the license, then we need to insert status property and followed by the license property. And you can go to a list on your own. And I'll provide the document link in the description. Let's see, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and one thing I found interesting is that uh, for the examples, U2 Data API doesn't provide example for Python or C Sharp, so which I found a little bit interesting. And that's pretty much it. All right, so let's get started. For this exercise, I'll be using uh, this hello world.mp file. So let me open the file. And this clip is only five seconds long. And what I did was I type hello world in a Word document, and that's it. And we'll also upload a thumbnail. So this is the thumbnail that I'll be uh, uploading to my video. And this one more thing you need to do. So if your channel is not a fair fighter, you need to go to youtube.com forward slash verify and to verify your channel. And the reason why you need to verify your channel is because some of the API uh, feature requires a user account to be verified first, such as uploading a thumbnail. You also need to download this google.py file and you can download the source code in the link in the description below. Now let's go to Python. And in my file, uploadvideo.py. So I'm going to start by import my uh, create service function from the Google module. So from Google, I'll import the create service function. And this function is a function I wrote to simplify the uh, service instance creation. I also need to import the media file upload function. So from Google API client.http want to import the media file upload function. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to create my variables. We need to provide the client secret file. And it's going to be client secret.json. And this is the file name I use. And we need to provide the API name, API version, and it's on um, version three and the scopes. So I'll be using, let me go back to the documentation. For the scope, I'll be using the YouTube.upload scope. I'm just going to copy and paste the, the value. Now I can create my service instance. I'll insert the create service function. 
I need to provide the client secret file, API name, API version, and the scopes. And since we need to provide a, a body, you want to come down to the request body section to figure out what type of information you want to provide to your video. And here I'm going to create a request body object. And this object is going to be the object we'll be providing to the body parameter. And it's going to be a dictionary. And I'll start by inserting the snippet property. I want to provide the title, description, text, and the category ID. And if you don't know what category IDs are available, so, uh, here I have a script that which I'll also provide the source code in the description below. Here's a script that creates a CSV file and it's going to give you a list of categories that you can, you can provide. Let's say I want to upload my video as a travel video. Then we'll use category ID 19, travel and events. So within the snapper property, I'll provide the category ID, which is 19. A title. Let's call these uh, upload testing. For the description, hello world description. For the text, since this is a travel video, so I'm going to uh, provide some of the relevant text. So travel, uh, video testing. And maybe one more, uh, travel tips. Now let me go to my channel. Let me go into one of my video details. Where YouTube upload requirements these days, we need to ensure that we select one of this uh, audience option. So this video meant for kids. I'm going to choose no. And I'm going to set the, uh, actually, instead of, uh, publish the video directly. I'm actually going to show you how to schedule a video instead of uh, set the video as private or public. And if we go to more options, so we have some of the uh, properties of items that we can set, such as license, uh, recording dates, video location, and which I will not touch in this uh, exercise. So here I'm going to insert the status property. To schedule a video, I need to set the privacy setting to private first. So I'll, use, I'll insert the privacy status uh, property. I'm going to set the value to private. <clears throat> you need to provide a publish date. To insert the proper date format, here I'm going to import the date time library. So here let me import the, uh, the libraries first. And also uh, run the highlight code. Here let me do this. I'm going to delete my pickup file. So that way I can show you uh, the process from scratch. I'm going to choose my secondary account. And click on events. And below that there's a link. And just click on the link to proceed. Now you're going to grant different permissions and just click on allow to give permission to the program. And once you see the message, the authentication flow has complete. You may close this window and you can close this window. Now let's create the uh, time values we want to set to publish the video. So let's I want to publish the video. Uh, let's do, actually let's do this. So instead from the daytime library, I want to the daytime class. I send this class. For the year, I'm going to insert 2020. For the month, let's do December 25th. So I'm going to schedule the video publish date 
on Christmas. And for the time, I think this API has a bug that it doesn't recognize the time. And hopefully they fix the bug. Let me try. Let's say I want to publish the video uh, at 12.30 uh, p.m. 12.30 p.m. And it's going to be based on your local time zone. I need to convert this to ISO format. And we need to concatenate with uh, triple zero followed by letter Z. And it's the format that uh, YouTube Data API will recognize. And I'm going to save the output to a variable called upload date time. I'll assign the upload date time object to publish at property. And we need to uh, specify whether or not if this video is intended for kids. So we need to use the self declare made for kids, it's your kids property. And I'm going to set the value to false. So here, let me go back to the documentation. And this is a notify. Oh, okay. So I'm going to set one of the parameter value. I'll be providing the notify subscribers uh, parameter. And I'll set the value to false. And this is I need to write for the request body object. Now let's upload the video. Here I'll insert the media upload function. And I'll provide the media file name. Hello world mp4. And I believe that this function will convert the media file to byte strings. And I'll store the output to an object called media file. And to upload a video, I'll insert my service object dot videos dot insert for the parts. So based on your request body, I'm providing snippet status and just these two properties for the body parameter i'm going to provide the request body object and this one more parameter is called media body and let me go back to the documentation i don't think on the documentation you mentioned uh, media body parameter Yeah, so it's unfortunate that uh, this API is not very well organized. And I was able to find the solution by uh, doing some digging and looking at uh, code from other languages. For the media body parameter, I'm going to provide media file object. And here I need to type the execute. I need to store the output to, uh, to an object called response upload. And that's for the first task. We upload the video. And once we upload the video, I want to upload my thumbnail. And to upload thumbnail to the upload video, there's a resource called uh, thumbnail. Let me see, right here. And you'll be using the set method to set the thumbnail to a video. And the thumbnail file size can only be up to two megabytes. So here I'll, I'll insert my service object dot thumbnails dot set. I need to provide the video ID to the video ID parameter. So here let's insert the response upload object. And to get the video ID, I can just reference the ID key. And for the media body, I'll insert media file upload function. And I'll provide the thumbnails file path. So thumbnail dot PNG dot execute at the end. And this is everything we need to write. Now let me terminate this session. Now let me go back to my uh, channel. And here's the back end. So if I refresh the page, and right now I have three videos. I'm going to press F5 to run the script. 
and here I'm getting an attribute error. So media file, let me take a look. Oh, okay, so here I have a typo. This should be hello world. And this is my mistake. Now let me try again. And I'm getting another error. Oh, for the project that associated to this client secret file, uh, I exceed my quota. So here, let me give me a second. Let me use a different project. Let me try again. So if I run it, it's going to ask me to authenticate my account. Oops, wrong account. Let me go back. It looks like the video has been uploaded and it was pretty fast. Uh, all right, so if I refresh my page. All right, so here's the video and it's got uploaded. And if we look at the scheduled dates, the video is set to publish on December 25th, 2020 at 8.30 p.m. So let's see. And since I'm in Asia and my channel time zone is set to Pacific time. So that's why uh, based on the current time zone plus the time that I assign is set to uh, 8.30 p.m. So you might have to play around with the, uh, the time. But for the dates, it's correct. And if we go into the description, or not description, uh, video detail. Here's the video title, upload testing, and here's the description. And this video is not made for kids. And here are the tags. Oh, and for the categories, it's set to people and blocks. Uh, why is that? Oh, okay. So here I made a mistake too. So this should be ID. So I made a typo. I forgot the D. And I guess when the API cannot locate the uh, the category ID property, then it's going to assign to people and uh, people and blocks by default. And if I click on the video, and just make sure that the video runs, Hello World is showing on the screen. So this is episode I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.